I had threatened winter with a how-to video not a how-to video because she knows how but just my process of cooking a turkey on Thanksgiving uh, that's the potatoes uh, yeah this turkey frozen have been cooking it since like 1130 this morning it is now 745 at night it wasn't cooking that whole time it was actually on warm for a couple hours well for an hour or so we were going to go somewhere we ended up not going somewhere you can cook a frozen turkey it is safe according to the usda it just takes longer so we're just running temp and we're now finally probably about an hour away yeah now probably about an hour away could be as little as 30 minutes basically my trick for uh doing a turkey whether you're doing stuffing or whatever is just uh, rub it down with salt and pepper any other spices you may be interested in applying i used a little basil and a little bit of onion powder and a tiny bit of garlic and i think that's it and uh and then i put a whole stick of butter inside chopped up into one one uh one tablespoon how you doings and uh and then I just baste the outside with butter every 30 minutes. That's what I, that's my go-to is baste the turkey every 30 minutes. And when I run out of stuff to suck up at the bottom of the pan, I melt more butter. And uh, just keep on going. Sometimes I use salted, sometimes I use non-salted. But yeah, I always have super ju juicy, moist turkey. But I've never had to cook one for like eight hours before. <laughs> so it's the first one of those. But nonetheless, half an hour to an hour, we'll be having some turkey. I and I'll have to finish the last sides. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Got some deviled eggs that the old lady made. Got the potatoes that are delicious, but I'll probably have to rehydrate a little bit. Because they've been sitting there on low for six hours. Yeah, and then I'll do a couple other sides. Meanwhile, the old lady's straight passed out.